hello everyone in the previous video we are successfully able to generate the unique name of our file and now the time is to go to the next step what's the next we are going to download it in the downloaded folder when we download our pdf so it will automatically add it in the download folder right so if we want to add this into our project how to specify our project to that whenever we download this file it will automatically add it into our project so how to do this in a specific directory so let's go to the documentation documentation clearly described that you need to call a save helper and it will and then you need to call this stream or download whatever you want so let's call this save method so go back and uh, here we are going to call this save method so before this download here I'm going to call this uh, uh, save method and in the save I'm going to pass uh, I'm going to pass a public path so it will return the public uh, directory path and here I'm going to add this in the uh, images or we can say that uh, it's a uh, PDFs I'm going to add this into the PDF directory. So if this directory does not exist, it's going to create this directory. I'm not sure that it's going to create or not. So let's uh, get refreshed. It's going to throw us an error or not. And we are going to fix this issue later. So generate PDF and wait for a moment. And yes, this PDF is uh, uh generated so let's go here and it's added in the download folder okay let me go to the project one uh what is the name of our project our project is laravel apps and in the laravel apps we have this pdf generator in the pdf we have a public directory and here we and yes this pdf is added here so it's added without any extension right so we are going to add this as uh, uh, we can say that in voice in voice dot pdf for testing purposes okay save this one go back and hit enter and yes it's generated and it's still returning in voice dot pdf so it means that we are generating it twice time. The first one is in voice.pdf and then second one is generated as, uh, let me go back and uh, generated as email template. So here I'm going to remove this uh, download stuff. So let me uh, copy this uh, uh, unique string. I'm going to comment this out because this save is responsible for downloading. So we are not going to we are going to pass this name here we pass this name and now let's uh, hit enter so it's going to generate the hmm okay it's i think it's generated so let's go here click on this public and yes now our email template is there and its name is this one right so we are successfully able to store this into a specific directory so we just call this uh, save method and this uh, and here we pass this uh, our path so you can pass your app path or whatever which is suitable for you if you have uh, multiple uh, folder into your public path so you can add them like uh, here images slash like this so hope you get an idea so i will meet you in the next one subscribe the youtube channel and uh, stay connected bye bye